If you live anywhere near New York City, you've seen it and felt it and complained about it for the past month or two. This smoke is the product of multiple wildfires still burning up in Canada. I quit smoking 50 years ago, but it's kind of a cough that I would have when I was smoked. I've been here for like 40 years and I haven't seen anything like this. The air quality is yeah. te just terrible. It's, it's mind-blowing that we're seeing something on this scale here right now. It may seem worse lately, but wildfire smoke has been on the minds of scientists for quite a while. It's not only, you know, so destructive for humans, but also it has impacts on these other applications that we may not necessarily think of, like solar energy. Tim Giuliano, who so, yeah. works at the National Center for Atmospheric Research, examined the impact of the massive 2020 wildfires in California on solar energy production in the area. He found a definite link. In general, we found that the wildfire smoke in California reduced the energy potential between about 10 and 30 percent, depending on the location and the time of day. Simply by blocking the sunlight. It's a big deal because as we become more dependent on solar energy for our energy needs, large wildfires in this era of climate change have also become more common. And producers of solar energy, not to mention their customers, can't afford to be caught by surprise. This is really critical because the utilities need to uh, know exactly how much energy they can expect from their plants. Giuliano got into the nitty-gritty of airborne smoke particles. It seems they deflect solar radiation at different rates and in different ways. Black carbon is highly absorbing, whereas organic carbon is more scattering. He fed all that smoke data into a supercomputer and applied a high-tech weather model to better predict what's called solar irradiance. Improve longer range projections about the effects of smoke on solar energy, even far downwind, could prevent power interruptions, even alter where solar plants are built down the road. This problem, while very human, I ran for about a mile and a half and I could just feel my breathing is a little bit different. Has other ramifications as well, something experts are trying to get a clearer picture of, whose impacts they're trying to better understand. Hendrix Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.